isang malaking injustice kung mananatili sa isip ng marami na si Ferdinand hindi nagmahal sa bayan. He loved this country so much that he was willing to sacrifice the presidency when he could have definitely attacked the people there at EDSA. Si Marcos talaga really made a mark in who we are in, uh, in international uh, politics. But if you compare what he did for our country during the time he was president, no one should ever be sorry that we had Marcos for a president. Kung ikumpara mo yung good points ni Marcos at saka yung good points ng ibang naging presidente natin, mula sa kalitin ng iba. Since the Marcos administration, I don't know if he really cut it off the ground. Early history, the rightfully judge, President Marcos. A story born a hundred years ago of a noble man whose life is worth reliving and looking back to. He's the only president with a national strategy. You'd think that uh, Marcos uh, was the bogeyman, uh, etc. But he was actually a very kind uh, person. The way that the Marcos has promoted the country, promoted the Filipinos, is something I think that cannot be put in any administration. His story speaks of the great Filipino dream, a father of a nation. In conquest for absolute freedom, true justice, and real democracy for the Filipinos. The great slogan that he followed was, he wanted this nation to be great again. He was the one who, who uh, was actually seeking for an independent foreign policy out of the ambit, out of the actions of the United States. It was President Marcos who declared for the first time what is now known as the Kalayan group of violence as subject to the sovereignty of the Philippines. The uh, president also wanted a negotiation with the United States about the termination of parity in 1974. Yung ginawa ni President Park Chung Hee sa May Korea ay yung strategy ni President Marcos na ang pinakamataas na level of development ng Philippines over the last 50 years, ay nung panahon ni President Marcos, specifically during the earlier years of Marshall. His story is a story of wisdom and goodwill. A story of a visionary leader with a strong political will who realized the Filipino potential and propelled the nation to progress. Mr. Marcos provided a lot more impetus in creating uh, programs of government that meant the uh, building of uh, infrastructure in a very essential way. All these things went, moved forward in his time very rapidly in the four years that he was in charge. Because that's the whole history of the energy policy. And that energy policy is being followed now. Agriculture, you should, I mean, look what Manny Pinon is doing. He's following Masagana 99, di ba? Okay, Marcos yun. His story is a story of character. A war veteran who went to Bataan and picked up some soil and put it in a ziplock and sent it to you. Kinuha niya. Alam mo, nung pagkakuha niya, tumalikod sa akin, bumalik sa kwarto, tapos nagkikita ko na lang yung kanyang shoulders. Mga ganun, may iyak. Naminsan, di ko na kinamagalit. Pag medyo may problema, may crisis doon sa makiki, tawagin niyo si father, magsisimba na lang tayo. Pag may mga balita, naminsan, di ko nakita nagmura against the government. Basta tulungan na lang natin. Ganun. Isang malaking injustice kung mananatili sa isip ng marami na si Ferdinand hindi nagmahal sa bayan. He loved this country so much that he was willing to sacrifice the presidency when he could have definitely attacked the people there at EDSA. A story of a strong man whose life was reduced by a chapter of our history. I have uh, proclaimed martial law in accordance with the powers vested in the president by the constitution of the Philippines. Declaring martial law to solve the communist insurgency and the Muslim secessionism. Yung kaguluhan na yun, hindi naman si uh, President Ferdinand Marcos ang nagdala. Ito ang dahilan ng mga kaguluhan. It 
was a phase when it was hip. Puso, ano nga ba sa gobyerno? A story born a hundred years ago about life, leadership, and legacy waiting to be retold. Si Marcos talaga really made a mark in who we are in, uh, in international uh, politics. But if you compare what he did for our country during the time he was president, no one should ever be sorry that we had Marcos for a president. Kung ikumpara mo yung good points ni Marcos at saka yung good points ng ibang naging presidente natin mula sa kalitinan yung iba, Marcos 100.